good afternoon to all of the learners who have, who have joined the session for today on social processes and behavior. Uh, we have already discussed in the last like, uh, two sessions, I had already covered up what is organizational behavior, what are social processes, how these social organizational processes are being taken up. In this uh, lecture, in this, le uh, in this session, I'll be discussing about learning, perception, motivation. For this, I'll be first sharing my slide. Now to start with the session for today, learning what learning refers to, so that it becomes more visible to you. Learning refers to the process of acquiring the response adequately to the situation in which we or we may be not be previously encountered. Learning is basically, I feel I'm audible to all of you. Am I yes, audible? Okay. So if, if I'm not audible or anything is not visible, kindly let me know, okay? Okay, ma'am. Learning is basically, learning is an ongoing process. There's nothing of that, if you complete the course curriculum, you are a big learned person or a person who is of 70 years of age or 75 or 60 or 65. Every age has a, you go through the process of learning. You learn from Everything is not being mentioned in the textbooks. You learn from your life experiences, from your life lessons, which teach you a lot. So uh, everything is not being there in your books or in the course curriculum, but uh, each and everything gives you a thing, your experiences through which you learn. Your, uh, the kind of exposure you have, you learn. So each one, each and every person has a different kind of an exposure. Therefore, it's said life is an examination. Everyone has a different question paper because everyone has their own experiences. Everyone have their own exposures and everyone learns in a different way. Maybe what I have learned, you may not have. Maybe the ex would have, what has he learned or the other. So everyone has their own options to learn. First, to come with the components of learning. There are six components of learning. Learning involves change, although the change may not be good or bad. So always when there is a learning process, there may be a good response to the behavior. There may be a change in the behavior. Sometimes there may be no, no change in the behavior. Response acha bhi ho sakta, bura bhi ho sakta. Not all the changes reflect learning because some changes may be permanent, some changes may be temporary. You may say that you have learned, you have understood the lecture, but you may not. After you just, after jaha lecture khatam hua, maha ap sari cheezein vanish ho gai. So third is learning is reflected in behavior. Your attitudes, your values, everything reflects your, your learning process. It's not that ki jo maine padh liya aur maine exam de diya ya kuch nokri baut achhi mil gai ya koi cheez aisi ho gai. So learning is not always a kind of an examination or it's not a, like a question paper which is given by a university or by a college or any school. But learning is what it is depicted in your behavior, wherever you stand, wherever the kind of responses you made, that is learning. The change in behavior should occur as a result of experience, practice or learning, training. The practice or experience must be enforced in order to learn to experience learn to occur so that learning would occur because such kind of exposures because i uh, previously i only said that everyone has their his or a own her own exposure so 
his or own exposure they learn a lot so learning occurs throughout one's life everyone has their own experiences everyone has their own practices everyone has their own set of behaviors and through that each and every person learn the first the theories of learning learning keep there are various theories of learning the classical conditioning model is there uh, sub -con uh, operant conditional modeling behavioral modeling behavioral conditioning is there classical conditioning is the process where individual learn to link the information value from the neutral stimulus to a situation which is natural course which does not cause a response such learned behaviors may not uh, be uh, under a individual conscious control it is a con classical conditioning process and unconditional stimulus which results in a natural response supposingly the classical conditioning theory talks of like uh, the food was being served to a dog uh, to a mouse and whenever the uh, the bell rang the food was being served uh once or twice the food was served and later on the food was not served but it was a kind of a unconditional response it was a kind of he learned up that whenever bell is going to ring the the food will be served then operant conditioning model this is this means it is a learn learned involuntary behavior the term operate operant conditioning is used in context of voluntary behaviors so uh, this was opinion that if certain pleasant consequences were created to reinforce desirable forms of behavior there would be an increase in the frequency of such behavior this means that people will be engaged in desirable behavior provided they are positively enforced so uh, like if a person is going to perform better if some rewards or some incentives or some perquisites are given to him you tell the person that if there is no performance appraisal there is no um, kind of a, there is no performance evaluation in an organization there are no incentives there are no perquisites there are no bonuses there is no monetary or non monetary benefit to the employee if you say that and in that case if you see that the behavior will be will be only according to it because it is a kind of motivation the morale is going to increase the better the morale the better will be the motivation of the employee uh, motivation of the employees they will perform better agar kuch nahi milna hai to insaan sochta hai are theek hai nothing is going to we are not going to get anything aur agar kuch milna hota hai agar koi possibility hoti hai to lagta hai ki nahi hame kaam kar hi lena chahiye tha aur agar hum kaam kar lete to aaj hame ye benefit milta the uh, the uh, the father says if you pass uh, if you secure 80% in the examination to the to the son i will buy a i will buy a the, the kids of today are more prone to these digital uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, instruments they are more equipped to these they want a mobile phone they want a tablet they want a better laptops because they are very well equipped and of using all these things so the boy gets motivated his morale increases that if i am going to secure this much amount of uh, percentage or if i am going to perform good in mathematics i'll be getting a uh, so this is a kind of a reinforcement in the behavior how to increase your morale how to increase your ability of performance in the behavior the next is the social cognitive theory according to the social cognitive theory the social aspects involves indicates the involvement of individuals to learn as a part of the society and cognitive part acknowledge that individuals use thought processes to make decisions there is a society in which you are you are living you learn things from the people and each and every person has an influence in shaping your personality the people you live in your family members your parents your brother and sisters and your maternal or paternal uh, grandparents whosoever are attached to you more and the people who are your neighborhood your the people who are staying nearby to you each and every person has a uh, 
uh, upbringing on how the how you are going to take your decisions so social cognitive theory has five dimensions understanding them ek hai symbolizing hai discourses learning hai self control hai so har ek person ka ek apna tarika hota hai koi symbols se uh, uh, koi jab baat cheet karte hue koi bahut short phrases mein bol deta hai koi bahut zyada explanative hota hai kisi pe bahut zyada self control hota hai koi bahut kam interact karta hai तो हर पर्सन की इंटरेक्शन पावर डिफरेंट होती है लर्निंग थ्योरी क्या है लर्निंग थ्योरी अप्रोच एम्फोसाइजेस द असेसमेंट ऑफ बिहेवियर इन ऑब्जेक्टिव मेजर टर्म्स दिस एम्प्लाइज दैट बिहेवियर मस्ट बी पब्लिकली ऑब्जर्वेबल एंड डज नॉट गिव ड्यू इंपॉर्टेंट टू अन ऑब्जर्वेबल इनर कोग्नेटिव बिहेवियर सो वॉट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इज what has been a change in the behavior like a motivation was been given to the employees that the, you will be performing only when you will be getting the uh, you will be your salaries will be 50% based on the on the sales the sales professional he was been asked that your 50% of the salary was will be based on the sales target and if you are going to achieve those targets you will be getting the full salary plus the incentives if you are not going to achieve your incentives will be gone and you will not be getting the full salary also so the or you will be having a pressure also on the for the job also so the person becomes some people will become no each and every person will be exhibiting a different kind of a behavior someone will give a very positive response someone will take it in a positive way that i uh, this will be a kind of a motivation if i get a full salary plus i get some incentives the other which is will be a negative one will think always that if i am not going to perform i'll not be getting a full salary as well as my incentives are going to disappear so all these things will be having a uh, kind of uh, impression on your behavior which will be seen on your behavior now we come to reinforcement and reinforcement reinforcement and learning reinforcement is a term refers to the psychological process of motivating a person reinforcement is something which enhances the strength of the response and prompts repetitions of the behavior that preceded reinforcement now reinforcement is basically how do you reinforce learning how do you inculcate or how you develop the learning process how do you stimulate a person to perform better now some people like if you ch- tell the child each and every day again and again that you're going to fail in the examination last time you failed this time also you're going to fail now you are trying to reinforce a negative kind of this is a negative kind of a reinforcement and if you say the child that you're going if you work hard you will perform better and this time you will not only pass but you will also perform better in the examination that will be a kind of a positive reinforcement the parents the people uh, the uh, the siblings or those uh, whoever are attached to the family each and every person has been responsible responsible for the kind of reinforcement so again and again agar hum kisi ko bar bar wahi baat kehte rehte hain ki this will be a kind of a negative reinforcement or this will be a kind of a positive reinforcement cheeze bahut important hoti hain so always think of the words that you use to for an for any individual whether for any one whether he or she is elder or he or she is uh, younger to you to so, jab bhi aap koi shabdon ka prayog kare to soch samajh kar kare kyunki wo kisi ki um, enforceability ya kisi ke learning process pe effect kar sakta hai kyunki hamare jab shabd acche honge to aage bhi acha hi hoga wo se एक तरीके का एनफोर्समेंट मिलेगा एक तरीके का उसे बढ़ावा मिलेगा कि वो किस तरीके से परफॉर्म कर सकता है और अगर हमारे शब्द अच्छे नहीं होंगे हमारा मोटिवेशन अच्छा नहीं होगा या हम किसी का मोराल नहीं बढ़ा सकते तो वो हमारा नेगेटिव री होगा पॉजिटिव री इन्फोर्समेंट नॉट ओनली दिस हो सकता है हो सकता है कि कंपनी में ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में किसी को मोटिवेश मॉनेटरी बेनिफिट मिल रहा हो किसी को नॉन मॉनेटरी बेनिफिट मिल रहा हो किसी का प्रमोशन ही कर दिया सैलरी नहीं बढ़ी लेकिन एक थोड़ा सा एक मोटिवेशन हो गया कि भाई प्रमोशन 
at least i can write in my curriculum vitae or i can write in my resume that that is giving a kind of a positive enforcement reinforcement to the person or agar uska um, monetary ho gaya then also he gets he at least i will be able to uh, curtail my expenses whatever i am having if there is nothing if he is not having if uh, the person who is performing as well as who is not performing both are getting the same kind of responses then that is a kind of a negative reinforcement because jo person perform kar raha hai uski performance bhi decrease hone lag jati hai so he also tries to learn a negative kind of a behavior that is reinforcement jisko hum negative reinforcement kehte hain so there are various methods of reinforcement either a person performs in a fixed ratio method a person performs in a variable ratio method fixed interval or variable interval method so uh, fixed ratio would be like a person is performing in a set manner whatever is being set a schedule set a norm set hai isi particular timings mein hame kaam ko complete karna hai variable ratio will be a kind of like in a production line how things are been curtailed which particular process for precedes the other so har ek ke particular time hote hain agar aap kis production kisi unit mein jayenge ya kisi assembly line wagaira ko dekhenge to you will find that how the processes are being curtailed then fixed interval means the timings are being set for performance of for the learning process that is also a kind of then variable or interval schedule like the ph values all which are been used so these are all a kind of methods of reinforcement so there are certain uh, learning principles also learning requires purposeful activity learning is a process of whole individual learning will also not only stimulates a kind of a purposeful activity but it is a process of how an individual will be able to perform better how he will be he or she will be able to curtail to solve the problems how learning will be helpful and will be based on past experiences so recognition and cre credit also provide strong incentives for learning learn people learn more when they are held to account and made to feel responsible for learn learning then knowing uh, knowledge of the standards required make makes learning more effective teaching should be logical sometimes uh, people who are the learners they are very logical they are very anal analytical while they are studying anything they feel that uh, how the things are supposed to be done so they are able to analyze things and then only they will be ask, asking a few so repetition feelings of both now feelings also curtail a lot of responses hamari feelings kisi cheez ke prati bahut achhi ho sakti hain hamari feelings kisi cheez ke prati bahut kharab bhi ho sakti hain to hum kai kai log bahut jaldi emotional ho jate hain kai log bahut jaldi tensed ho jate hain to usme kya hota hai learning process jo hamara hota hai wo hamper ho jata hai because that has been affected due to the psychological activities because there are so many psychological activities which are uh going on around because there are different people they are having a different kind of a mental or a setups and each and every person each and every person is responsible for learning to har ek ka apna thought process hota hai har ek ki apni soch hoti hai har ek person different culture se aata hai har ek ki apne norms hain apne rules and regulations hain to har person apne tarike se sochne ki तरीका यूज करता है नेक्स्ट वी कम टू लर्निंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लर्निंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर स्किल्ड एट फाइव मेन एक्टिविटीज वन इज सिस्टमैटिक प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन लर्निंग फ्रॉम पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस, लर्निंग फ्रॉम अदर्स एंड ट्रांसफरिंग नॉलेज फर्स्ट एंड द फोर मोस्ट थिंग लर्निंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वॉट वाइल दर यू आर लर्निंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में गए वहां पे आप ग्रो नहीं कर पा रहे हैं कुछ सीख नहीं पा रहे हैं जब आप कुछ नया नहीं सीखेंगे तो आपकी ग्रोथ नहीं होगी आपकी ग्रोथ वहीं रुक जाएगी तो ऑलवेज ज्वाइन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज ग्रोइंग विच इज विच इन्वॉल्व अ काइंड ऑफ अ लर्निंग प्रोसेस वेर देर आर इंडिविजुअल्स 
which will boost up where you uh, get boost up from your colleagues from your superiors from your subordinates which will be a kind of a learning process so that will be a uh, first and the foremost thing will be a systematic problem solving each and every per person would be responsible for systematic problem solving would be like if there is no retention in the organization many of the employees are leaving the organization attrition rate bad raha hai तो हर चीज पे एक प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने का एक तरीका होना चाहिए कि किस तरीके से हम प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व कर सकते हैं जब हम प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करेंगे तभी वो चीजें हो पाएंगी देन यू शुड बी एबल टू एक्सपेरिमेंट आउट थिंग्स मैंने दूर से किसी चीज को देखा मुझे बहुत आसान लगी जब तक मैं उसे पास जाके नहीं करूंगी या पास जाके नहीं करूंगा या मैं खुद से नहीं करूंगा या करूंगी तब तक मुझे वो चीज नहीं पता चलेगी और मैं नहीं सीखूंगा सो सेल्फ असेसमेंट सेल्फ स्टडी सेल्फ डूइंग एवरीथिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ लर्निंग प्रोसेस सो यू लर्न बाय डूइंग यू लर्न फ्रॉम योर एक्सपीरियंसेस यू लर्न फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू लर्न फ्रॉम द पीपल यू लर्न फ्रॉम द प्रैक्टिस यू लर्न फ्रॉम योर फ्रॉम द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यू लर्न फ्रॉम Uh, the environment everyone is helpful in your learning process never say that i i only learn from my textbooks so everyone is learning it's not that the people who are at staying at home are not learning everyone is into the learning process so learning from others will be also the people who are around the culture the organization the uh, the norms values everything is responsible for the learning process then a kind of a transferring of knowledge जब हम कोई चीज सीख लेते हैं तो अगर हम उसे अपने तक ही रखते हैं तो वी आर नॉट लर्निंग जब तक जब हम किसी दूसरे को सिखाते हैं तभी हम लर्न करते हैं कुछ लोगों में एक काइंड ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल नमो होती है हमने सीख लिया है अगर हम इसे सिखा देंगे तो ये हमसे आगे निकल जाएगा अरे उसे तो कहीं और से भी सीखना होगा तो वो सीख के आगे निकल जाएगा तो ये एक सोच होती है जो कि हमारी लर्निंग प्रोसेस को पर करती क्योंकि जब हम किसी दूसरे को सिखाते हैं तो हम खुद भी बहुत सारी चीजें जो बहुत सारी शॉर्टकमिंग्स होती हैं जो बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही होती हैं उस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस में उससे सीखते हैं वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है लर्निंग के लिए सो so, कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स क्या होती हैं लर्निंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वुड बी लाइक पर्सन शुड है पर्सनल मास्टरी ऑफ द थिंग वुड बी हैविंग समथिंग वुड बी एबल टू नो बेटर about the uh, about it then there should be some shared vision there should be some team learning there should be some systematic thinking then mental models should be there there should be a shared vision each and every one should be contributing to it theek hai team learning should be there systematic thinking should be there application of learning and organizations so the three systematic approaches to incorporate learning organization one would be training the second is organizational citizenship behavior and discipline so training is the one training is what this training is a systematic process of learning a new things training mein aap kuch technical non technical dono pe based ho sakti hai wo basically it is based for new incubants who join the organization as well as for those people who have been associated to the organization who requires some kind of enhancement of skills who require some growth perspective agar koi naya software aata hai koi nayi technology aati hai to hum us pe kaam karna apne employees ko sikhate hain then organizational citizenship behavior kya hai organizational behavior management organizational behavior is the behavior of the individuals at the workplace now what organization expects and how the individual performs it all depends on the kind of the organizational setting it is we cannot make only the employees responsible for the behavior it is the environment it is it is the people it is the growth process it is the learning process everyone is responsible for the behavior of the individuals the monetary the non monetary incentives the motivational factors the the uh, how the people are being boosted up everyone is responsible for their for uh, to uh, to ch- there is for the change in the behavior of the individual discipline is basically kya hai discipline ho sakta hai code of conduct 
इन विच दीपल इंडिविजुअल आर सपोज टू परफॉर्म डिसिप्लिन हो सकता है पॉजिटिव डिसिप्लिन हो सकता है डिसिप्लिन हो सकता है नेगेटिव डिसिप्लिन हो सकता है डिसिप्लिन आपका सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन हो सकता है सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन तब हम रखते हैं जब हम किसी कोई और हमें कहने नहीं आता कि हाँ दैट इज दैट शोज दैट हाउ वेल डिसिप्लिन यू आर ना हाउ मच कंट्रोल यू हैव ऑन योर सेल्फ द नेगेटिव इज जहां पे स्टिक रूल होता है जहां पे लगता है कि हाँ भाई ये इस तरीके से ही हो सकता है हम किस तरीके से क्लास को कंट्रोल करें या कैसे हम इंडिविजुअल्स को कंट्रोल करें लॉकआउट्स हो गए या कंप्लेन्स हो गई एम्प्लॉज की बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स हो रही हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में सो इट इज नॉट ओनली रिस्पॉन्सिबल द एम्प्लॉज आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल एवरी वन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दी बिहेवियर और पॉजिटिव डिसिप्लिन अगर होता है तो हो सकता है कि वो किसी मॉनिटरी फैक्टर्स की वजह से हो नॉन मॉनिटरी फैक्टर्स की वजह से हो सकता है The employees are loyal to the organization. हो सकता है commitment ज़्यादा है, हो सकता है they are they have been working more in the organization. Then perception क्या है? Next topic that we come to perception. One we have covered up today is learning. The second is perception. Perception includes all those processes by which individual receives information about its environment. How do we see? See, hear, feeling, lasting. टेस्टिंग एंड स्मेलिंग किस तरीके से हम स्टिमुलस को इंटरप्रेट करते हैं कैसे हम उसे रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं दैट इज परसेप्शन इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिसीविंग इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एंड मेकिंग सेंस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अराउंड नाउ नेचर ऑफ परसेप्शन परसेप्शन वुड बी लाइक अ टू पीपल हु वुड बी टॉकिंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट अ बॉय एंड अ गर्ल्स स्टैंडिंग देयर वन पर्सन वुड से दैट दे आर फ्रेंड्स some would would say they might maybe they have they would have they would be studying all together or they would be working all together some people would say you know there is something fishy about so everyone has their own perception so the perception isliye differ karta hai kyunki wo hamare soch se develop hota hai ki hum us particular cheez ke bare mein kisi object ke bare mein kisi thing ke bare mein kisi bhi cheez ke bare mein kaise usko interpret karte hain so that is किस तरीके वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ परसेप्शन परसेप्शन इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स कोग्नेशन प्रोसेस गिविंग अ यूनिक इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विच मे बी मच डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द रियालिटी कई लोग बहुत होते हैं बहुत ज्यादा इमेजिनेटिव वर्ल्ड में रहते हैं तो जब इमेजिनेटिव वर्ल्ड में रहते हैं तो उनका परसेप्शन जो है रियल फिगर से हट जाता है क्योंकि उनकी अपनी एक दुनिया होती है तो उसी दुनिया में देखने की कोशिश करते हैं तो उनका जो परसेप्शन होता है जो उनके सोचने का तरीका होता है वो उन लोगों के विचारों से डिपेंड करता इफेक्टेड होता है और वो जिस इट इज ऑलवेज सेट द पर्सन इज नोन बाय द सोसाइटी द पर्सन टू विद द पर्सन इज ऑलवेज नोन बाय द सोसाइटी ही कीप्स किस तरीके के लोगों के साथ आपका बैठना उठना है वो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट होता है देन देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द परसेप्शुअल वर्ल्ड एंड द रियल वर्ल्ड जो हम परसेप्ट करते हैं वो हमारे रियल वर्ल्ड से बहुत डिफर करता है बिकॉज समटाइम्स दैट इज व्हाट वी आर नॉट एबल टू समटाइम्स एबल टू परसेप्ट द करेक्ट स्टिमुलस मेनी ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स अकरिंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर ऑफन फाउंड टू बी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ परसेप्शन किस तरीके से परसेप्शन की प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं वट आर द फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग परसेप्शन द परसीवर शुड बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल the person who is able to perceive it attitude is one hamara positive attitude ho sakta hai negative attitude ho sakta hai hamara us particular object ko dekhne ka kya nazariya hai maybe hum bahut acha acha response de rahe hain maybe hum bahut zyada motivated hain ya humne jaise bataya ki ho sakta hai ki bahut zyada hum imaginative world mein rehte hain log kuch log bahut hi real figure mein rehte hain to usi tarike ka response depict karte hain then motives would be another thing would be responsible motives ho sakte hain aapke general motives ho sakte hain aapke specific motives ho sakte hain then interest aapke differ kar sakte hain past experiences differ kar sakte hain expectation defect kar differ kar sakti hai target differ kar sakta hai background differ kar sakta hai physical and time would also differ then uh, motion sounds situation time work environment every thing would be affecting the perception hum kis situation mein hain us tarike se hum differ karte hain 
हमें किसी बहुत अच्छी सिचुएशन में बहुत अच्छे सीनियर पर्सन पे रैंक कर दिया कुछ लोग अब बहुत ही अगर किसी जीवन में बहुत अच्छा बढ़ जाते हैं या बहुत अच्छा काम कर जाते हैं बहुत अच्छा प्रमोट हो जाते हैं तो वो अपना जो होता है बैकग्राउंड भूल जाते हैं अपने रूट्स को भूल जाते हैं और समटाइम्स व्हेन दे लीव देयर रूट्स दे रिमेन इन अ वेरी काइंड ऑफ अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड दे नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एक्सैक्टली व्हाट इज ऑल हैपनिंग अराउंड दे नॉट एबल टू परसीव द स्टिमुलस इन अ करेक्ट मैनर बिकॉज अगर हम अपने आसपास सब कुछ अच्छा देख रहे होते हैं तो हम बुरा देख ही नहीं पाते हैं तो ऑलवेज वी शुड ट्राई टू परसीव द स्टिमुलस इन अ करेक्ट मैनर and should also not be on one particular characteristic ek particular characteristic ya agar kisi person ka impression acha hai ki ya kisi cheez ka impression acha hai jo bhi hamare dimag mein chalta hai hum usi tarike se usko perceive kar lete hain to wo sari cheeze bahut hi important hoti hain then there is a perceptual organization perceptual organization is a process by which people group environmental stimuli into the rec uh, recognizable pattern this is done jai jaise supposingly figure ground hota hai perceptual organization kya hai jaise ki hamare jo uh, how we are able to perceive the stimulus how we are able to perceive the stimulus kis tarike se hum sochte hain स्टेमुलस को परसीव करने का मे बी सम कोई बेसिस है हमारा कोई फिगर ग्राउंड है परसेप्शुअल ग्रुपिंग करते हैं या किसी कंटेक्स्ट में देखते हैं कुछ डिफेंसेस यूज करते हैं तो हर एक की अपना सोचने का तरीका होता है और वो उस तरीके से चीजों को एनालाइज करता है जब वो एनालाइज उस तरीके से करता है हम किस तरीके से ग्रुप करते हैं हमारा पहले का पीछे का बैकग्राउंड क्या है हम किस तरीके से सोचते हैं तो हमारा फिगर ग्राउंड वैसा होता है परसेप्शुअल ग्रुपिंग इज बेसिकली हम स्टिमुल uh, को किस तरीके किस तरीके से देखते हैं और अपने रिस्पॉन्सेस को किस तरीके से लाने की कोशिश करते हैं देन परसेप्शुअल कंसिस्टेंसी is basically referred to the uh, it indicates a sense of stability in the dynamic world it is a principle which permits to have some consistency in the tremendous variables and highly complex world it makes perceptual organization very simple consistency is basically how do you view the situation in which then what kind of context do you see the situation kis particular context mein aap dekh rahe hain kaise wo cheeze ho rahi hain kaise particular process chal raha hai then perceptual defense kya hai kya blockages hain refusal kya hai kis tarike se aap kar sakte hain bahut sari cheeze hain then social perception kya hai social perception is the process by which individuals attribute characteristics or traits to other people the concept of social perception has reliance on to organizational behavior to organizational behavior because here the object being perceived in the environment is another person even though an understanding of the perception of situation events objects are important it is the knowledge of individual differences in perception of other people मीन्स हम सिचुएशन को ऑब्जेक्ट को किस तरीके से देखते हैं किस सिचुएशन में हमें पुट किया जाता है उस तरीके से रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं किस तरीके से हमारे ऑब्जेक्ट्स किस तरीके से होते हैं किस तरीके से हम ऑब्जेक्ट्स को व्यू करते हैं किस तरीके से हम इवेंट्स को हैंडल करते हैं तो हमारा जो सोशल परसेप्शन है विच इज बीन इफेक्टेड बाई द रेफरेंस ग्रुप to which the family to which we are attached to the slibings the fam uh, the then the friend circle then the society in which we are living the environmental factors so everything has a if impact on it now what are the problems with the social perception one is halo effect halo effect is basically on the basis of one particular characteristic hum पर्सन को परसीव करने की कोशिश करते हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वन पर्टिकुलर परसीविंग एन इंडिविजुअल ऑन अ 
one particular single trait or personality single trait or characteristics we are trying to perceive it on the basis of a single characteristic then stereotyping is basically we where we tend to normally classify and characterize people or events which have already been known or perceived situations that is called stereotyping stereotyping ek hamare ek dharna bani hui hai ki ye aise hi karega ya ye particular process isi tarike se hoga that would be an kind of an uh, which would be how do you think in a manner ek age group hai like the old people they they will not change because they have a kind of a setup they have a kind of a brain that they are going to respond in this particular manner that is pro stereotyping projection kya hai hum apni image ko kaise dekhne ki koshish karte hain that is projection hum apni image hum kis tarike se apne aap ko project karte hain kis particular situation mein expectancy is basically what has been expected of an individual that is very important in problems with social perception no attribution kya hai attribution refers to the tendency one develops to explain the ways in which person judges another person's behavior attribution is uh, makes attempts to explain how individuals when observing behavior attempt to determine whether it is internally caused or it is externally caused jab bhi kisi person ke behavior mein change hota hai wo sirf uske apne internal thought process ki wajah se nahi hota hai kai baar wo internal changes ho rahe hote hain uske psychological setup mein kai baar wo externally bhi caused ho jata hai kai baar organization ke setup se ho gaya wahan ke mission vision se ho gaya kai baar external environmental se ho gaya bahut zyada competition hai bahut zyada situation change ho rahi hai to kisi bhi cheez se ho sakta hai next we come to the third topic that for today is motivation motivation kya hai motivation is a complex of forces starting and keeping a person at a work in an organization seen from the corporate perspective motivation is basically a willingness of an individual members to set and accept challenging goals kis tarike se hum cheezon ko lete hain whether hamare psychological processes are means an urge or a desire to fulfill a need or a want तो वो हमारा मोटिवेशन कहलाता है मोटिवेशन जो है एक वर्ड मोटिव से आया है मोटिव हमारे प्राइमरी मोटिव्स भी होते हैं हमारे जनरल मोटिव्स भी होते हैं और हमारे स्पेसिफिक मोटिव्स भी होते हैं जब हम प्राइमरी मोटिव्स की बात करते हैं तो दो हमारे बेसिक मोटिव्स हैं कि वी इन रिक्वायर फूड एंड क्लोथिंग एंड शेल्टर विच इज द बेसिक नीड विच इज ऑलरेडी बीन विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दैसलो हेरार की थ्योरी इट इज ऑलरेडी बीन स्टेटेड दैट दिस इज द बेसिक नीड ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल टू परफॉर्म अ वॉन्ट देन दूसरे हो सकते हैं हमारे जनरल मोटिव की हमें अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आई रिक्वायर अ कार आई वॉन्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर लग्जरी आइटम्स देन सम थिंग्स वुड बी स्पेसिफिक दैट आई बिलोंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटस आई बिलोंग टू आई वॉन्ट एन एस यू वी आई वॉन्ट दिस आई वॉन्ट एन एल जी स्प्लिट और एवरी वन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉडल सो दीज ऑल थिंग्स मेक द थिंग वेरी स्पेसिफिक दैट इज अ स्पेसिफिक मोटिव now how to uh, talk about uh, the importance of perception motivated um, motiv uh, of motivation sorry motivated employees are always looking for better ways to do on the job agar employee motivated hai to wo acha perform karne ki koshish karega agar employee motivated nahi hai to wo bahut acha nahi perform kar payega to motivation kahin na kahin hamari परफॉर्मेंस को इफेक्ट करने में बहुत ज्यादा कंट्रीब्यूट करता है द मोर मोटिवेटेड द पर्सन द बेटर ही और शी परफॉर्म्स इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो मोटिवेटेड एम्प्लॉय जनरली इज मोर क्वालिटी ओरिएंटेड हाई मोट हाईली मोटिवेटेड एम्प्लॉयज आर मोर प्रोडक्टिव ठीक है एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिक्वायर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स इन एडिशन टू फाइनेंशियल एंड फिजिकल रिसोर्सेस फॉर इट्स फंक्शन so motivation is a uh, concept represents a highly complex phenomena that affects uh, that is 
affected by a multitude of factors in the organization the first theory that we talk of is that we talk of is the maslow's hierarchy theory maslow's hierarchy theory mein jo first hoti hai wo hamari physiological needs hoti hain jo hamari basic needs hoti hain jisko humne primary needs mein state kiya hai that is fooding clothing and shelter safety needs apart from those which are been stated uh, those needs which are already not only been stated in that form but we can say that uh, that needs which are already been required this hamari safety needs hoti hain we need to be free of physical danger of feeling of loss of food hai shelter hai that is your safety needs uske hisab se aap kya security chahte hain security ke liye jaise aap lic ki policies lete hain kuch membership plans lete hain apne bachon ke liye plans lete hain ya kuch mutual funds ki hoti hai ya kuch retirement schemes lete hain ya kuch health cards banwate hain to those are a kind of a security benefit social needs basically aapki kaun si hain social needs is particular society mein aap कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं कैसे आप रह रहे हैं देन एस्टीम नीड्स क्या है एस्टीम नीड्स मींस व्हाट इज योर स्टेटस ओरिएंटेड नीड्स जब आप एक पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन में पांच पहुंच जाते हैं जैसे जहां पे आपके पास पावर होती है प्रेस्टीज होती है स्टेटस होता है सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस होता है भाई मैं तो इस पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन को रिस्पॉन्स करता हूँ एंड आई एम एट द आई एम जी एम ऑफ दर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई शुड आई शुड बी गिविंग दिस एंड आई शुड बी यूजिंग दिस then uh, self actualization is the highest need of hierarchy this refers to to the to the desire to become what one is capable of becoming man tries to maximize his potential and accomplish something when his this need is activated in him theek okay? hai then we talk about hertzberg two factor theory hertzberg two factor theory mein one is the motivational factors and the other is the hygiene factors motivational factors mein kon kon se aaye jaise aapke uh, job content hua kis particular job content ke liye aap jana chahte hain bahut sare log sales ke liye jana chahte hain bahut sada log hr ki jobs ke liye jana chahte hain koi finance ke liye jana chahta hai to har ek person aur ya kis particular profile mein kaam karna chahte hain operations mein kaam karna chahte hain back office job chahte hain movable nahi chahte hain kuch log bahut zyada traveling mein interested hote hain then uh, achievement is another very important thing that what is making a person more uh, moving towards it then uh, your recognition your work itself your responsibility your advancement your possibility of growth everything is uh, responsible for the motivational factors kis tarike ka kaam hai agar usme possibility hai growth ki to wo ek tarike ka aapka motivational factor hai recognition mil raha hai ki nahi achievement hai ki nahi usme Then hygiene factors में आपके interpersonal relations आ जाते हैं आपके एक दूसरे के साथ कैसे relations हैं आपके superiors के साथ कैसे relations हैं super subordinates के साथ कैसे हैं या आपसी में peer group के साथ कैसे relation है जहां पर आपकी salary भी important होती है अगर salary में increments नहीं हो रहे हैं time पे तो that also is response is a hindrance in your motivation. सैलरी वही की वही तीन तीन चार चार साल में इंक्रीमेंट नहीं होता पांच छह साल इंक्रीमेंट नहीं होता एक साल बाद होता है एक साल बाद भी होता है तो बिल्कुल कोई ये नहीं है कि परफॉर्मेंस के बेसिस पे होता है तो इस तरीके के ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में एम्प्लॉज आर नॉट ग्रोइंग देर इज नो लोवालिटी टूवर्ड्स देर इज नो मोटिवेशन इन देयर जॉब्स देन कंपनी पॉलिसीज एंड एक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन की वजह से भी हाइजीन फैक्टर्स होते हैं सुपरविजन होता है वर्किंग कंडीशन ऐसी होती हैं तो वो सारी चीजें रिस्पॉन्सिबल होती हैं जहाँ पे नीड होती है कोई पर्सनल लाइफ है पे है आपका स्टेटस है जॉब सिक्योरिटी है एवरीथिंग इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल इन योर केस ऑफ हाइजीन फैक्टर्स की अगर हम बात करें हाइजीन फैक्टर्स की हम बात करेंगे तो हमारी जो सैलरी है हमारे पे है परफ्यूस अच्छा एवरीथिंग इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल इन केस ऑफ हाइजीन फैक्टर्स next week up to mcclendon's theory of motivation there is need for achievement there is need for power there need for affiliation there is a need for avoidance something would be related to a person 
need for achievement now what was uh, how the person will be more motivated to achieve achievement will be need for achievement refers to the drive to excel to achieve in relation to the set standards and how you want to succeed that is uh, means how you perform best and uh, to the best in the organization then need for power is basically it refers to the desire to make others behave in a manner that they would not otherwise have behaved in so need of power ki jab hum baat karte hain to kis tarike se hum influence kar pate hain dusron ko jaise ki hamari leadership qualities ki baat hoti hai to leadership agar ek leader hai kuch log bahut inborn leaders hote hain kai chote bacche aise hote hain jo ki wo apni baat ko manwa le jate hain jo apni baat ko keh le jate hain then need for affiliation would be another thing need for affiliation refers to the desire for friendly and close interpersonal relationship kuch log hote hain jo bahut jaldi ek dusre ke sath ek jut ho ke kaam karne lag jate hain groupism spirit mein believe karte hain cohesiveness mein believe karte hain ya norms ko adhere karte hain to bahut sari aisi cheeze hain jo ki bahut hi important hoti hain kisi bhi organization mein excel karne ke liye then there would be need for avoidance kuch log कुछ सारी चीजों को अवॉइड करने की जरूरत होती है जैसे कि बहुत सारे ऐसी चीजें हैं जैसे आपके ईगोज क्लाशेस होते हैं या नेगेटिव चीजें हैं कॉन्फ्लिक्ट होती हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में तो वो सारी चीजों को हम अवॉइड करने की कोशिश करते हैं नेक्स्ट वी कम टू ब्रूम्स एक्सपेक्टेंसी थ्योरी नो वेन वी टॉक ऑफ ब्रूम्स एक्सपेक्टेंसी थ्योरी ब्रूम्स एक्सपेक्टेंसी थ्योरी एज्यूम्स दैट बिहेवियर रिजल्ट फ्रॉम दी कॉन्शियस चॉइसिस अमंग ऑल्टरनेटिव whose purpose is to maximize pleasure and to minimize pain to kis tarike se hum logon ko expectancy instrumentality balance pe dependent hota hai expectancy is the belief that how the increased effort would re- result in increased performance the more you work hard your more performance is going to increase which indeed will be affecting the productivity of the organization instrumentality is the belief that if you perform well that a valued outcome will be received jis tarike se aap perform karte hain to usi tarike se aapka ek outcome nikalta hai you are able to clarify your psychological contracts you are able to communicate in that manner you are able to perform in that manner you are able to confirm your performance your rewards your possibilities of getting rewards also increases then balances the importance that the individual places upon the expected outcome how highly do i value the work outcomes that will identify the individual needs or the outcomes that will adjust the available rewards to match these theek hai to wo sari cheeze bahut important hoti hain the next last theory that we talk of is mac george's theory of x and y now the x and y theory what does it says the x theory described in authoritarian uh, leadership style which managers give direct instruction and supervise the subordinates there is a delegation of authority and responsibility whatever has been decided at the top management as flows from the top to the bottom in the hierarchy structure and why is basically a participative management leadership style where managers assume employees to be employees are self motivated and directed towards accomplishing organizational goals kis tarike se wo apne maximize kar sakte hain outputs ko kis tarike se log ba participate kar sakte hain kaise wo एनरिच कर सकते हैं अपनी जॉब्स को वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है ठीक है सो वी आर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विद टुडे आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विद परसेप्शन मोटिवेशन एंड लर्निंग so today we have discussed with motivation uh, perception and learning is there any doubts with the session motivation perception and learning because if i start with group dynamics then there will be no possibility of completing it therefore i'm not starting with the other topic so group dynamic or leadership and all If you have any doubts you can put it on the whatsapp you can always send your messages so that 
doubts could be clarified and whatever sessions have been taken all the ppts have all already been shared two sessions usse pehle bhi social processes and behavior pe ho chuke hain aur uski bhi ppt main share kar chuki hu aur ma'am continuously videos bhi share karti hain jisko aap refer back kar sakte hain which has been pulled of lot of explanations lot of examples which can be referred back by you theek hai are there any doubts with the sessions are any doubts with the session no ma'am you don't have any doubts with the session you have to ask anything in social processes and behavior you don't have to ask anything in social processes and behavior everything is very clarified to you कोई डाउट्स कोई प्रॉब्लम्स आपको पूछ रहे हो तो पूछें आई एम ऑलवेज देयर ऑन दी व्हाट्सएप इफ यू हैव एनीथिंग टू आस्क यू कैन ऑलवेज आस्क मी इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स एंड सोशल प्रोसेसेस एंड बिहेवियर आई फील ऑल द सिलेबस एंड ऑल यू हैव उन सारी चीजों को आप देख सकते हैं और क्लेरिफाई कर सकते हैं ठीक है किसी को कुछ पूछना हो तो बताए बताइए डू यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग इन सोशल प्रोसेसेस एंड बिहेवियर then you can all leave the session for today okay thank you for all all of you for joining the session thank you, thank you.